I feel great. You don't have to talk right in. It's not going to sound loud. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just going to sound loud in here. So when you think of coming back to a city, are you kind of superstitious about like what's happened in those cities or in those venues, or do you not think about that, either, either positive or negative? Um, I used to be superstitious, but I kind of had to break that habit because then that becomes a, a slippery slope of always thinking negative about certain things and certain outcomes. So, yeah, I don't have any... I want to say uh, superstition about the place that I fought before because I go to that same place and break that, you know, in the same breath. And that was, that, that was my next, next question. If you come back and then you break the curse or break the superstition, mm -hmm. I mean, is there almost like extra motivation to do that when you think about the place? Oh, there's absolutely extra motivation for sure. Um, coming in, you know, coming to Atlanta, now it's like I have to make it a home. You know, I came here for Impa's fight and now coming here again for my fight after, you know, taking the first short notice fight last year against Mario Med, this is like me coming back and this is my home now, you know, like every time I come here now, it gotta be my house. It's my house. And you spoke about it, but it does it help when you come and you see a teammate do so well, does it motivate you? Absolutely. When you see your teammates shine, like guys you like really train with every single day consistently, it just makes a uh, whole world of a difference, especially when, you know, they're striving and they're doing exactly what they need to do. It kind of puts in perspective that you're doing everything right yourself, you know? And before I talk about your fight, under some, some PFL news I want to get your uh, thoughts on. First one being that there are rumors PFL may be buying Bellator. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. Oh, man, PFL is buying Bellator. That's crazy. Um, my thoughts on that is, like, it's going to be a lot more interesting. I guess, like, uh, fighter-wise, how they run it. I'm just curious as to if they're going to do, like, obviously they're going to do tournament style, but are they going to do more fights more consistently every year because then they'll have more fighters on the roster? Like, will there be more fights every week? Or, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, would it be something like that? Like, similar to, like, how the UFC has more fights or they have fights every week up, up until, like, they get to a pay-per-view event and then they'll still run that tournament as opposed to, like, doing, like, undercards of just, like, local fights and stuff like that, that makes sense. Is there anybody in Bellator that you can think of off the top of your head that you'd love to fight? Hell yeah, everyone. Yeah, except Jason. Except Jason. <laughs> yeah. Nah. But, uh, yeah, everybody except Jason, honestly. Yeah. I would, nah. Yeah. What about um, the drug testing scandal that kind of happened, the 10 fighters that tested positive in Vegas? What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts on... Um, the guys doing drugs, I feel like it's very dishonorable for the sport, you know. Um, and I think, uh, I feel like if people have the opportunity to cheat or feel like they can, you know, win cheating, then if that's what they think they need to do and not get caught, then do what you got to do, you know. But I don't, I don't condone that, you know. Like, I've never, I, I just think it's just very dishonorable, you know. Like, I'd rather go out on my sword and shield knowing that I did my best doing everything the right way versus going out you know, the wrong way and then getting caught or getting popped for something that I shouldn't have been doing in the first place. And what about the signings of Jake Paul and Francis Ngannou? Both of them kind of promised some um, new things for the fighters trickling down, better, better pay, more attention. Mm -hmm. Or are you, so you're excited for that maybe, but are you also like, hey, these guys are coming in and kind of stealing the thunder that we've worked so hard to build up? Nah, give me Francis. I'm trying to fight Francis. I need that fight. Give me the fight with Francis. Or Jake Paul. Give me the fight with Francis, though. How do you see a fight with you and Francis going? Man, I'm going I'm to dance on it for three, three fives or five fives. I'm going to do what I got to do to win. And, and if I get caught, I get caught. But I'm going to do what I got to do to win, you know. Like, I'm going to go out there, probably try to wrestle him, you know. Um, pepper him up with some jabs. You know, Francis is a big dude, but, you know, he's, he's slow. He's slow for the heavyweights. I was going to say, so you'd have to put on a lot of weight to fight him. Nah, I'll fight him as I am. I fight him as I am. Absolutely. He can bite his ears off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jake? How, how do you see a fight like that going? Um, Jake's bigger, but he's a little slower. He doesn't really like – he, he like, he cuts weight. I think he just kind of walks around like that. Um, with Jake, I just think I take him down and just sub him, like off the gun. Like, I don't even waste my time. Take him down and sub him. And then let's talk about your opponent. What were your thoughts when you got the name? Carlos? Um, my thoughts was like – this is the matchup. You know, like, I've been telling people for a while, like, yo, I respect Carlos. Like, I like him as a fighter. Like, he actually comes out and he, he wants to fight. Like, 
It's a dog. And I've been telling people, like, in other interviews, like, um, prior to this, like, prior to this moment, even last year, like, oh, is there anybody you want to fight? Oh, yeah, Carlos. Carlos is, a, is the guy, like, I would like to fight. Like, I feel like it's a really good matchup. Like, he's, he's a fighter. He's going to come to fight. He's not going to skate. He's not going to try to run. He's going to want to be a dog. And, I, and I, I respect him, you know. Like, I've been saying that I wanted to fight Carlos for a while, actually. Like, that's the fight that I thought would be most favorable for both of us, honestly. Like, it's just a good matchup. Oh, I see myself winning. Absolutely. Absolutely winning. Um, and, of course, with the stipulations of how, you know, the PFL is set up right now, of course, you know, the added pressure. But, you know, I think I go out there and do what I have to do within that a lot of time, you know. Just perform to the best of my abilities and everything will come to fruition. And you speak about the added pressure. Does that motivate you knowing you don't have any points? Or, is there, or do you not think about that when you're doing it? No, nah, I don't think about it at all. Um, actually... The only thing I think about is um, something Impa said and something Jason said to me. And it just kind of, I've just been thinking about it every day for a while, actually. Like, um, if today was my last day on earth and I had to fight, at least I'd go out doing what I love to do, you know? At least I'd go out on my sword and shield. At least I'd go out there doing and performing to the best of my ability, knowing that, like, I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this because I love this and I do this because um, I want to be the best. So, like, if I had to go out today, at least I'm going to go out happy, you know? Yeah. Have you seen either of those guys? Is there either? Yeah, one they was on a they was on a plane ride with me here. Oh, is yeah. it awkward? Nah. Nah. I'd love to see him again though. I was gonna say, who which one would you prefer to rematch? The last one I just fought. Absolutely. Him. I need him. Is it because he's last season's champ? Is it just because of the way the fight went? Like why him uh, and No no no. I fought I fought <clears throat> I fought um Sadabu, I'm assuming. No, 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 not Sadabu. Um no Sadabu wasn't on the flight with me. The, the last dude I just fought, the... Oh, okay. Magomed? Magomed. Yeah, him. Okay. Yeah, I need to see him. He's the guy I want to see. Why him? He's just the guy I want to see. Okay. Yeah. And can you give me, last question, your uh, prediction for the final four? For the final four? Yeah, in your division. Me, the two Magomeds, and Ty. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. No problem.